Hi, welcome back. Glad you could join me. This time on a slightly lighter note. It's a very odd world. Tony Blair appointed Peter Mandelson as an EU commissioner. Peter Mandelson. Presumably in the belief that he will help the EU cause. But if this happens, then I'm Judith Chalmers. When he was Chancellor, Gordon Brown responded to all those council tax rebels by putting bills up, not down, for most people who live in their own house. Uh, the one they've spent years buying, using hard-earned income uh, that has already been taxed by the Inland Revenue. We now have proposals that if you've added a conservatory or if you live in a low crime area, you'll even pay extra for the privilege. Very odd world. Now, a good solution for homeowners is to deliberately lower the value of their own house, dropping it down through the tax bans, thus saving money. And a radio programme recently asked listeners to suggest the easiest methods. They asked the question, what is the worst thing you have ever seen in a house? For example, brown and salmon pink bathroom suite, or plastic windows in a Georgian rectory. But they got some unexpected answers. One person said, children. Another said, the River Medway. And a third said, the psychiatric nurse I've been avoiding all week. As I say, a very strange world. If you're still not convinced, may I present Tilly the Jack Russell Terrier, who lives in Chicago and is making a name for herself as an artist. She scratches around on wet canvas, biting, rolling and generally worrying the paint. Her work has just appeared in a one-dog exhibition in New York and is selling like hot bonios in Germany, Japan and the Netherlands. Tilly begins by gnawing along the edge of the canvas, uh, which is apparently a metaphor for the fact that she's on the fringes of the art world. But Tilly might be nearer the mainstream than she realises. The artist, sorry, uh, arts practitioner, Tracy Emin, struck gold a few years ago with her exhibit, Unmade Bed. Speaking personally, I've always had the urge to visit her studio plump up the pillows, brush out the biscuit crumbs and fag ends, and straighten the duvet. I realise the fault is all mine, it's probably some childhood trauma. But in this crazy circus of Tilly the Terrier and Peter Mandelson, I wonder, is anything really odd anymore? <laughs>